And what is your message to the future kind of biotech entrepreneurs behind you? Is Texas legit at this point? Do you uh, oh, do you have oh, to do you have to move the somewhere third? else to get some your are idea? Absolutely, absolute, no. That I think some people say third coast, right? So this is um, this is real um, because we've, like I said, we've always had the great science um, and discovery, um, and then biotech is really dependent on you know experience. And also, um, there in any industry, there's always some risk aversion. So when you're creating a new, um, like nucleation point somewhere, someone has to go first. And I think, um, you know, we're not the only folks. There's been some other folks that come into Texas, but I'm going to talk about Fujifilm because I'm, you know, uh, Fujifilm Dyson because I'm yeah. not particular to that. But we've demonstrated um, an ability to bring um, clients in and to to drive this forward and, and we've developed um, you know 40 acre campus at this point um, in college station and you know continually looking at additional investments um, uh, and expansions and i would say the the proof is here yeah um, you know we have a you know re, re, so just from a let's say a siting perspective you could look at a few things you know we have a robust electrical grid so I worked in Southern California and I had to deal right. with my power getting turned yeah. off. That's a, that's <laughs> yeah. a, that's a disaster. Um, yeah. and, and I don't want to knock other places. So let's talk about good stuff about Texas. So robust, you know, power grid, um, yeah. we've got low cost energy. It's a very, it's a very ener in, uh, energy intensive industry to, sure. to deal with. Um, and we have access to, uh, great universities, um, and great um, community colleges and junior colleges. So um, the the talent is here, the the want to is here. And yeah, we're we're off. I don't think there's any stopping it now. Awesome. Well, uh, super encouraging message to, uh, to, to everyone. And, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's nice to see somebody that's been able to be part of uh, the beginning of, of, of a new way of doing things here in Texas. Um, uh, uh, that's that's perfect. But, you know, it was really interesting. So when we were purchased by um, Fujifilm, um, what, one of the most senior people within the company actually came to the site and, and gave a, a presentation, and I didn't quite know what to expect. Um, sure. And I was um, just blown away because I'm sort of expecting um, sort of a message from a very serious um very um, traditional, you know, Japanese company. And what we got was basically a lecture, you know, could have been right out of Wharton Business School. It was really entrepreneurial. It was really, you know, pushing people forward to bring value um, up and to um, basically drive forward and, and drive great ideas up into the organization and across to continue to grow, change, um, and improve. And I, I was, had my mouth open. <laughs> I thought, wow. you know, wow, this is this is not what I expected, and um, I was really excited uh, by that. Uh, but it, I guess it should be obvious because um, you're talking about a film company um, that's now bigger than it ever was before, and yeah. you know, you you know, there there are other film companies which have not fared so well. So um, they're they're really diversified and and had to, um, you know, by necessity. Um, innovate and, and activate the entrepreneurial genes and move forward. So 